Hi guys and welcome back. So as we discussed, um, I have eventually found this graveyard that holds the remains of Father Michael Murphy. And uh, you may remember that I also did a video on Father John Murphy. Now these two men actually met and knew each other. They both fought in the 1798 rebellion. But what happened afterwards when he was finally caught is a uh, pretty cruel. Now we have yet to locate it. Ah, here it is. We're here. Now there's also some very, very old headstones in here as well. Unfortunately, it is completely overgrown. And unfortunately, they are nettles. But we have some fantastic stones in here. Um, this is Mary Dennis, or Dempsey. no, it's not. Is it Dempsey? Looks like she was 25, 1814. And the usual crucifixion scene here. This is J. Byrne. Um, we have another one beside it. As I get stung by nettles, of course. Um, here lies the body of James, is it? James Dempsey. So obviously they are related, 1787 here. And another fantastic carved stone with the crucifixion scene on it as well. I can't really get in far enough, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to keep walking up around. Now this might well be uh, the remains of what looks to be maybe a church could be a church or a gate or a, a gate, gate lodge. lodge or you know those little cottages now this place was like from the pictures we've seen online this place was really really well cared for but as we've said before if they come in and clean and you know the cleaning stops or it doesn't continue Unfortunately, these places become overgrown again. Right, I'm going to do my best to get in as far as I can. I was silly because I have a pair of runners on me, but uh, my ankles are, are bare, unfortunately, so I'm going to get stung. Here lies the body of William Bryan, 1805, age 70. And see there the serpent at her lord's feet um the sun and the moon i mean we have seen so many of um these magnificent stones and uh, the stone masons jay byrne and dennis cullen there's a lovely one here if i can make it out which you can just see what we're walking through and i don't mind anything but I do hate nettles because they're so stingy this one looks like it has um horses this looks like a J burn stone as well just see there the man on the horse we have some soldiers Jesus on the cross this looks like George what's that but Royce, um, May 1784 there, aged, I think it's, it's either six years or 16 years of age. There's also Margaret here as well. 63, isn't it? Is it? Oh, 63 years of age and also, as I said, Margaret. And I think she was uh, buried here, 1767. So it's actually, the graveyard is actually bigger than what I thought. The beautiful railed one up here is actually Father Michael Murphy. And as I said, he fought on har horseback um, in the rebellion of 1798. Beautiful cross there with an effigy of our Lord on it. 
We have some lead lettering on it. James Kelly, who died July 1909, I believe, age 60, and also his wife, Catherine. She passed away 1914, aged 81. Another crucifixion scene on this one. And a lot of writing on this as well. Looks like Martin Kelly. 1797. So I would imagine um, this graveyard goes back to the 1700s. And you can see just how many are dotted along all those headstones so closely packed together. Now I'll put a picture up of um, this grave because it was absolutely gorgeous online and it is still really, really beautiful. It stands out in this graveyard compared to the rest of them. Possibly because of the uh, black and white rails, the black and white, kind of like a Celtic cross in iron. And then just around the top of the rails themselves, you can see this design. Now this is the pike design that a lot of men and women used in the 1798 rebellion, very similar to this. But as I said, this is, um, if I can get a proper, a proper look at it, um, father, Michael Murphy. So Father Michael actually led the charge and lost his life at the Battle of Arklow, June the 9th, 1798. He was supposedly struck by a cannonball and it's actually reported in places that his heart was removed, roasted on a fire and the oils from it used to shine the Crown Force's boots. Like that to me is terrible, horrendous. We also remember Father John Murphy, um, no relation, but he also fought in the 1798 rebellion. He was hung, his body burnt in a barrel of tar, and parts of his remains are actually in um, ferns in Wexford. But this is another guy, although they fought side by side, this man led the charge in Arklow. His heart was supposed to be roasted and the oils from his heart used to shine the boots of the Crown forces. Horrible history, I've said it before. We have an absolutely gorgeous headstone at the base here. We'll see if we can read it. I'm going to stretch in over the rails just to show you. So that'll give you a little bit of light there. You can see our Lord on the cross. Wow, we have a woman sitting, weeping there. The soldier above her, I presume. One piercing our Lord's side. The other one holds the pliers. We have the ladder. We have the hour, uh, hourglass. So it's probably Mary and Mary of Magdalene and our Lord there on the, the cross. And this says, here lieth the body of... Julie Murphy. Um, I'm sorry now, my mic is hitting the rail. 1757. So obviously a relation to the priest here, aged 43. We have another inscription on this one. I don't know whether we're going to be able to read it. It's Murphy as well. So all family. Uh, but that stone is absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if there's a maker's name there. I don't think it's um, J. Barn. I'll have to look that one up and see if we can find the, the maker's name. And it could possibly be on the base, but it's too hard to see. But there is actually something. Butler. It's J. Butler. Another headstone or a stonemason, a stone cutter. Headstone cutter, carver, whatever you want to call him. This is J. Butler I believe um, you can just barely see the name just beside the face there of what I presume actually looking at this one I'm not sure it is a soldier so if anyone wants to try and 
figure out the information on this stone, by all means, say it down in the comments. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of the nicest ones I've ever found. And as I said, the priest, Father Michael Murphy. May you rest in peace, Father Michael Murphy. And thank you so much for all you did in the 1798 rebellion. Now, he did study actually as well in France. So um, he was an amazing man. There is some words on his tomb, but none that we can read, unfortunately. It is almost gone. You can see with the, the lichen there, or the lichen. Um, looks to me like it's a red brick tomb, and he would be underground right under there. There was, yeah. Let's have a look. Oops. It's an old reet, I'd imagine. Yeah, with the old Irish tricolour. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's just hanging there. I didn't, maybe it wasn't a wreath. Maybe it had flags right. hanging from it. Is it right in there? Oh, brilliant. Erected by the Owlert Hill, Hill 98. Centenary. Centenary Association. So that's just, they obviously erected. I presume then that this was just a tomb and the Owlert Hill, which is not too far from us, another scene of the 1798 rebellion, uh, they placed this and possibly the rails then as well. I'm feeling raindrops. Unfortunately, it's just the day that's in it. We will try and read a few more people that are here. Um, as you can see, it's it goes... Bird. Yeah, the, the bird song is beautiful, but you can just see that we have lots of buttercups and wild flowers all around here. Um, We'll try and find some that maybe are a little bit more interesting. More scenes of the crucifixion again. 1776, guys, on this one. Another Dempsey. Lots of Dempsey. Lots of Dempsey's actually here. Now, guys, if you do like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. And definitely leave me a comment down below as well as to what some of these um, beautiful carvings mean on these stones. This one here is another crucifixion. You can see the slightly uh, changed. This is Jay Byrne, um, the crucifixion scene. We have like a soldier here, but he's also carrying a cross. We have Mary, we have temples here. This one is 1795, also a Patrick Dempsey. Um, he was 64 when he passed. So lots and lots and lots of Dempsey's here, just here. There's a tombstone, but it seems to have, I think it's sinking and maybe there's possibly two stones there. But this um, goes all the way down here. We are trying to beat the rain, guys. Um, it's quite hard to get around, actually. So we're actually facing the back of the graveyard. So when you come in the gate, it's the back of the stones that you can see. We'll try and read a couple of more. And uh, a few more that are catching my eyes. These, I'm just actually going to bring you right to the edge of the graveyard. Yeah. Oh dear, here comes the rain, guys. This is just gorgeous. Look at that. Gosh, yeah, look at that. That tomb there. That's a ball, is it? Looks like a vault at the back. Whoa, just be careful where you're walking because it might fall down. I don't know what that is, guys. Ouch! Stung again. This is the tomb we're looking at. And it is strange. It could be just a bordering wall. But just there, it kind of does look like it could be a, a vault or maybe just built up on a wall, maybe. I'm not quite sure. That's the tomb. Look at it. It's completely smashed. That's it there. 
I don't know about it being a vault. I'm not sure. Can't really get down to it. Ah, uh, could be just a boat. Although oh, no, the wall. When I look here, there isn't a wall. Like, why would there have been a wall just along there? Wow! Look at the tree. Look at that. Just there. I'm not sure whether it's showing up on the video. I think I just crouch down. Look at that. Like is it a den. tree? I don't think it is the roots of a tree. It's like a little den, yeah? Little fairy. Fairy house for the fairies. But that, uh, I don't know. I don't see a wall other than at that tomb. So it's quite unusual. But we just can't get down because there's a bit of a, a dip down there. And uh, I don't want to chance it in case we fall. Look at this one. H.R. with a cross engraved into it. McCaff McCaffrey, is it? Or it's Michael. M-I-C-H-A-E-L-C-A-V-E-Y. Cavey, maybe? But H.R. is there and that cross. That is gorgeous. Right, so it's probably easier for us to go this way. And spot the beautiful stones. Wow, look at this one. This is really unusual. I love the, the shape at the top of the stone. 1790, age 50. This is Martin Brine. Wow, look at that. Look at the curve on top of the headstone. It's lovely. I don't think we've seen a, a scene like that from the crucifixion. There's another lovely one down here. We have birds on this one. This is 1795, the body of Mary Ryan. Look at that. Beautiful birds on this one. Sun and the moon. Our Lord on the cross once again. And as I said, 1795. Wow. There's one over here, so uh, early 1700. I think he's 17 years old. It's all somewhere. Um, over here. Oh, that's kind of a similar one. Oh, look at the tissels, guys. Definitely don't want to be standing on those. You'd like the body of Michael Byrne, who departed this life June the 22nd, 1796. Age 17. Age 17. So before the rebellion, two years before the rebellion in Ireland started, he passed away. Age just 17. Wow. That's a lovely stone as well. Wow, those tissels are huge. Yeah, it would be nice if they could come back and uh, clean again, maybe. Or maybe they do have, ouch, an ungrown I think this, this project. Oh, look. Look what we have to go through, guys. Historical old graveyard, isn't it? Yeah. The lovely buttercup, a nettle and a big old tissel. And they're the ones that... Whoops. Really, really hurt. Just have to be careful where we're walking because some of the ground is starting to sink down. Trying to... Get around the headstones without walking on anybody's grave. So we do have a few tombs, tomb slabs, but unfortunately just can't read those. Wow, that's a bit dangerous too. Yeah, something wrapped. Ouch. You're going to have to excuse me. I keep saying ouch because I keep getting stung. It's like a cloth around that one. Mary, is it Donoghue? Erected yeah. by Mary Donoghue. For her husband, William Donoghue. 1888 there. And there's a Margaret. Not sure why that's wrapped around there. Maybe someone had passed by and left something to uh, remember them by. I know, the nettles are terrible, aren't they? 
the thistles and the nettles. I don't know which one is worse. Beautiful little iron cross there. And here's the rain again. You can't just avoid it, unfortunately. It was so beautiful yesterday, but we actually couldn't find. You can just see the outline. Oh yeah. There. This could have been the church outline then maybe, or the ruins. Some kind of building. Yeah, we drove yesterday and we didn't find it, but it turned out we were actually on the wrong road. I got um, directions from a friend of ours, Owen, and we found a snow problem today. There's actually a memorial to Father Michael Murphy just at the end of the lane, which kind of lets you know that, you know, that's the, it's, we're in the right place. And the old gate, look. Right, so guys, um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video um subscribe if you haven't already rest in peace to everybody that's in that cemetery i don't have the name of the cemetery just the area it's castle ellis we're outside black water basically um but for now guys actually actually what i will do is i'll just show you at the end of the video the monument that they have placed for father murphy Right, so there it is, guys. There's those uh, pikes, as they're called, on top of the memorial. In memory of Father Michael Murphy, one of the Wexford's illustrious patriot priests, who was killed on June the 9th, 1798, um, at the Battle of Arco. There, mortal remains interred in adjoining cemetery. So that's the cemetery we've just come from. So a beautiful memorial. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all soon.